Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is x minus 1 to the power of 6, this is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we have x minus 1 to the power of 6. Now let's take 5 to the power of 6 on the left hand side, so minus 5 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. We can express x minus 1 to the power of 6 as x minus 1 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2. Subtract 5 to the power of 6, which you can express as 5 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 which we can express as a plus b, then a minus b. Now we have that a is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 3, and we have that b is equal to 5 to the power of 3. So this implies that a plus b, this is the same thing as x minus 1 to the power of 3, then plus 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have that a minus b, this is the same thing as x minus 1 to the power of 3, subtract 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's start with equation 1. We can call this case 1. In case 1, we have x minus 1 to the power of 3, then plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation is actually in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is the sum of two cubes that we can express as a plus b. Then here we have a squared, subtract ab, then plus b squared. Now applying this identity, then we have x minus 1 plus 5, cross the parentheses here. Then we have x minus 1 to the power of 2, then minus 5 multiplied by x minus 1, then plus 5 squared which is equal to 25, then this is equal to 0. Now here we have x minus 1 plus 5, this is the same thing as x plus 4. Then here we have x minus 1 to the power of 2, this is the same thing as x squared, then we have minus 2x, then plus 1, cross the parenthesis here, then subtract here we have minus 5 times x, this is minus 5x, minus 5 times minus 1, this is plus 5, then plus 25, this is equal to 0. So this is x plus 4. Then here we have x squared minus 2x plus 1, minus 5x, then plus 5 plus 25, this is equal to 30. This is equal to 0. So we have x plus 4. Then here we have x squared minus 2x minus 5x. This is minus 7x. Then 1 plus 30. This is plus 31. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 4. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is a quadratic equation, which is x squared minus 7x, then plus 31. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 4. So we can solve for the value of x2 and x3 from this quadratic equation. Remember, this in this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 7 and that c is equal to 31. So we can solve for x2, comma x3 
by applying the quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c everything here divided by 2 times a substituting the values of a b and c then here we have minus minus 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared this is minus 7 to the power of 2 subtract 4 multiplying by a which is 1 then times c which is actually equal to that 1 divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus times minus 7 this is 7 plus or minus the square root of minus 7 squared this is 49 subtract we have 31 times 4 and this is actually minus 124 everything here divided by 2 so now here we have 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 124 this is minus 75 everything here divided by 2 so the next step is that we have 7 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 75 as 25 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 now here we have 7 plus or minus the square root of 25 this is 5 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that we have that x2 is equal to 7 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 then we have that x3 is equal to 7 minus 5i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 1 so let's proceed to case 2 let's proceed to case 2 now in case 2 we have x minus 1 raised to the power of 3 subtract 5 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation is actually the difference of two cubes that is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a minus b then a squared plus a b then plus b to the power of 2 now applying this identity then here we have x minus 1 minus 5 then here we have x minus 1 to the power of 2 then plus 5 multiplied by x minus 1 then plus 5 squared which is 25 this is equal to 0 so here we have x minus 1 minus 5 this is minus 6 then here we have x squared minus 2x then plus 1 then plus here we can open the parenthesis this is 5 times x this is 5x 5 times minus 1 this is minus 5 then plus 25 this is equal to 0 now here we have x minus 6 and then here we have x squared now minus 2x plus 5x now this means we have plus 3x then we have 1 we have minus 5 plus 25 this is 20 then plus 1 we have 21 this is equal to 0 now from we have two parts here the first part is x minus 6 this is equal to 0 and the second part here is x to the power of 2 plus 3x plus 21 this is equal to 0 
So from the first part here, we have that x4, this is equal to 6. And the second part is a quadratic equation, where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and that c is equal to 21. So we can solve for x5, comma x6, by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 is c, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now substituting the values of a, b, and c, we have minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 21, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus 3, plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, this is 9, minus 21 times 4, and this is equal to 84, divided by 2. So that now, here we have minus 3, plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 84, this is minus 75, everything here, divided by 2. So we can express we can express the square root of minus 75 as the square root of 25 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything here divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 this is 5 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2. So this implies that we have two complex solutions here, two complex solutions, that is x5, comma x6. And this implies we have six solutions, we have six solutions to this math problem. That is, we have, we have x1, this is equal to minus four. We have that x two comma x three. This is equal to seven plus or minus five i square root of three divided by two. And we have that x four essentially is equal to six. And we have that x five comma x six this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions here and two complex solutions that totals to four complex solutions and only two real solutions here. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and country subscribe please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video